Hey everyone, I am back from my vacation and I am super excited to have some fun just playing with this fun project. So I've hunted down all these really fun vintage images and um, kind of stamped them, I guess, onto these cute little cards. So it's a digital kit. Um, I'll link it down below if you're interested, but you could really do this with anything or if you have your own stamps, that would be way fun too. But I just had an idea of doing like a sideways waterfall in this journal. So that's what I wanted to do today. So the cards come in two sizes. They have um, the smaller size and a larger size. These are the larger ones. And this is just an album that I've created a year or two ago and I've just been slowly working through it and filling it up. And anyway, I thought this style would go perfect with this kind of a journal. So first of all, I'm using four cards to be my waterfall kind of flip pages. I've prepped all of these ones, but I thought I would do one on camera so you could kind of see how I did it. So first of all, I did three eighths of an inch in and I just scored it. You could also fold it, no big deal. Um, but this is going to be the flap. And this will act as the flap for that page. Now I did on the back of these print, um, there's a backing sheet that comes with the kit. So you have the back looks like it actually belongs, like it's part of it. And I also printed it on the lightweight cardstock. 110 pounds is what I believe I used. Um, and then I've inked the edges, cut them out. I corner rounded mine. Um, that's how they're designed to be. And then I just have this cellophane piece that I kind of use. Um, to kind of get some ink on there and then I just sometimes add a little bit of water whatever I'm in the mood for and then I can just really kind of grunge these cards up and I did that with the others already I um, also dried them and I didn't want you to have to listen to me drying paper so I thought I would do all the other ones before all right and then I have this that I have ordered and I really like it. I like to use it on flaps. Um, but anyway, it's just a double-sided tape. It's super sticky and this is a quarter inch wide. So it's just handy on stuff like a flap where you just want it to be really secure and not mess with glue on that tiny space. So I'm really official and I just kind of rip it all off but I've already put that on all of the others so you don't have to watch all right now I've laid these out in the order that I want and this one's going to kind of keep drying but while we're waiting for that I thought we could do some of the embellishments so I just have a collection I'll try to link all of them just little bits and pieces from random kits um, and I'm just kind of sticking with a really like old vintagey, not, not really industrial grunge, but just kind of old and really authentic vintage look is what I was kind of going for. So that's from one of the little kits I had. It was just sitting here as a leftover scrap. So I thought that would be fun to use. And then I wanted to do a fun topper. So I've got some lace and I've got this really fun piece of, it's a chipboard that I've put it on. Um, and I just love the look of it. So that's gonna go inside of my metal label holder. And it's kind of been bent a little, but that's okay. Straighten that out. Hopefully not too much. And I believe this is a Tim Holtz piece. So way fun. And now I'm gonna attach this to the page, but I didn't wanna put holes through um, 
on my paper because then it's going to show up on the other side. So I'm just using lace as my main attaching and then I'll glue the lace down. So it comes with actual little screws to put this on book plates, but I have some little brads and I'm going to do it with brads instead because I don't, um, I don't want a, <laughs> a screw that will go clear through this on this case. So I'm just going to attach that using my brads and going through this lace. So hopefully you can just see what I'm doing and it will go right through that lace. And then I'm laying these prongs to be parallel with that metal so they're not sticking out of the back. And now when I glue this down, I'm gonna put extra glue in those prong areas just to really secure it down. This I cut a little long, so I just need to make sure that that label holder is gonna fall where I like it or if I'd rather scoot it this way. And I think I would rather have it scooted that way. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. But let's go ahead and put that down. I'm going to just Estimate that glue is not coming as fast as I want. There we go. Let's try that. It's usually either not fast enough or it's too fast. <laughs> Can't ever kind of get it just perfect. We need we need the Goldilocks happy medium. I'm gonna just try to clean out my glue thing real quick. See if that helps. Cause when, oh, there we go. That's what I was going for. Especially here on these ends. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down carefully. I don't wanna stretch out the lace and put the paper under any tension and then I can just come in here and snip that little extra bit of lace off or you could carry it onto the other page which would be cute too either way all right so we have that down and I probably should add some glue under here so bear with me while I glue down my label holder. There we go. All right, and then we just have this cute chipboard and it says memorandum. So just fun. I love hunting for these old images. It takes a long time, but I think it's very satisfying when you find something that you can turn into something really special. All right, so we have that basic part down. And when I dried these with all the other ones, I actually used my heat embossing gun and it, it was a breeze. So that's just an idea for you when you do yours. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting these in place. So I'm gonna peel and just start placing them. I'm gonna be kind of guesstimating because I, I don't wanna measure. <laughs> so we'll do our best. We'll kind of lay it out where we want everything to fall and we'll go from there. So maybe what would be great is to put this last one down now and we'll know about where, well, that's probably not a great idea because I want to make sure these edges all line up. So let's go ahead and work our way from left to right. Sometimes you think you have a good idea and then reality kicks in. <laughs> That was probably a little too far over actually. Good thing I didn't put it down very much. All right. Let's try that. Yes. All right. So I'm just eyeballing these. Let's 
So I don't know how many of you have had a chance to visit the Oregon coast. That's where we just got back from. It was just so beautiful. It is one of those places that I could go again and again. I just love the Oregon coast. So, ah, highly recommended if you haven't. Highly recommended if you have. <laughs> it's just beautiful. All right, let's see. So these are gonna be journaling spots underneath. Super fun. And then I wanted to just put like a fun little pocket under here. Yeah, that'll be cute. I kind of think it'd be fun to do. I have this scrap coffee paper. I'm just making sure everything will fit. But I could make that a, a tiny little pocket right there, which would be cute. We can do it like that. Let's do it. All right, so I'm going to turn this back little guy here. This is just the smaller card, and I um, did some fun distressing on that too with ink. So now I'm going to just turn it into a pocket by putting glue on these three sides. It's probably the most carefully I've ever glued anything. And glue that down. So now that part's open right here. And that'll just be kind of a fun surprise when you get to the end of it. You're like, oh, cute little pocket. All right. Coffee dyed paper to go in the pocket, making sure that I'm steering clear of that seam. Because I probably should have made this going the other, like on this side of a page. I was just too excited about this. I wanted to use this background paper because I loved it with these. So just a heads up. Now this is just a little cluster that I had made earlier using another little kit. So just a fun thing to add some interest to that back page. And we'll leave that end kind of hanging over just for fun. Give it plenty of room that you'll still be able to get to that paper. Just add some fun interest. So there you go. That's what it'll look like when it's closed. All right. Now you'll notice these are going to want to pop up. So when I get done, I'll probably um, close this and let it just sit for a minute and it will really help. Another option is you could put a paper clip here to kind of hold all of those down. Um, either way. All right, let's see. Oh yes, I wanted to do just a fun little collage here on the front. So I have these from another kit that I have on hand that I had already kind of distressed and made. And I thought a little butterfly would be fun to accent that butterfly. Um, so this little tag I had put an eyelet already in. I'm just gonna go ahead and trim that out. And then I wanted to add this little bulb pin just here. You know how it's so hard to tell if your charm is gonna sit forward or backward. <laughs> I haven't found an easy solution for that yet. Cute. Now, because that's short enough, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little glue into this mix. Make sure that that doesn't come untied. Oh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Sorry. I just added a little extra glue through here to make sure that'll stay done. Done up. All right, and now we're just gonna play and see where we want things to make a cute little collage. I like how that is hanging over the edge here and I think that would be fun to have one hanging over the edge here too. So let's go ahead and do it. I like that. All right, let's go ahead and glue that down. If we can pick it up. We 
went on this hike. It was to this cape that just overlooks the ocean. So you're kind of surrounded by ocean um, on three sides. And when we started out, it was raining and we thought, oh, there's no way we're gonna really see much of anything. But when we got out to that overlook, the sun just burst through the clouds and you could see the ocean and it was just so pretty. But it was neat to hike in that mist because it felt like you were in some secret little enchanted forest. So that was really cool. Gotta go see a lighthouse and I like lighthouses. So that was fun. Kind of did a little bit of everything. And we even got some sunburns, so. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell when I'm on camera, but I have super pale skin. And so I'm like the sunscreen boss. I just try to always make sure that I sunscreen and that the kids sunscreen, but no matter what, somebody always manages to get burnt. <laughs> it wasn't awful, but we could have done better. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Love it. All right, let's see. We are just about there with this front cover. Cute, cute. All right, so now let's see if I wanted, where's my stapler? We can just go through and add a few little extras on or something like that. But for now, I'm thinking this is exactly how I want it to look. So let's go ahead and stop there and um, yeah, way fun project, way easy to do. So if you wanna try something like that, then jump right in. I could come in and add some more stamping. That would be really fun. Um, I could probably use these cute Tim Holtz stamps. I have one out. Let's just try one just because we have it out. So why not? Um, but yeah, that's all there is to it, to the sideways waterfall. And then let's add this somewhere. I think it should go right there. Oh, so cute. So you could come in and add some more stamping or some stamping on the back. Maybe put one of these dillies and just paper clip it in place or staple it just to add some interest to it. Or you can add it on this side. Oh, I don't know. Lots of good options. I have to put something there. I have to. Let's just do this little guy right there. And I'm just gonna staple it on the end so that there's still plenty of room for journaling on the back. Oh, so cute. All right, so anyway, that's it. Fun project. I'll probably be doing a couple more fun little videos with these other little cards that um, are with that collection, but they're just fun to work with. So anyway, hopefully you can try this out and enjoy it and um, have some fun with it. So thank you for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye.